all right good morning class how are you doing i know you are fine this morning okay welcome to our english class today we'll talk about passive voice in uh, english okay so uh, let's go because we haven't much time to lose but before we start i think that uh, you are very well uh, you we know that at this moment you are at home uh, you have to pay attention to yourself you have to take care of yourself and uh, protect yourself with others okay so let's go to our course if you are it just need you can uh, uh, take notes and after you have some questions uh, uh, i'll give you my mail and uh, my phone number or my whatsapp number you can contact me and uh, uh, i'll assist you so, okay let's go okay uh, today uh, i have just told you that we'll see the passive voice as you see your passive voice it's your passive voice so i think that uh, when you were in the first cycle you have seen what passive for uh, was okay uh, so today uh, we'll uh, go through uh, with this lesson okay a passive voice what is it uh, we have a generality generality okay as uh, one we can say that uh, we can say that as as is French, as is French, uh, passive voice in French, passive or verb passive, passive voice is the same. The passive voice is made of the past participle. Uh, the passive voice is made of a past participle. I do this. Okay, the passive voice is made of a past participle preceded by the auxiliary. Preceded by the auxiliary. What auxiliary? Uh, is. I think that in English we have to auxiliary, auxiliary to be, auxiliary to have, and to do, uh, to assist other verbs. Okay, so this uh, auxiliary, I'll put it this this way. Okay, so uh, we can say that uh, as in French, uh, the passive voice is made of past participle preceded by the auxiliary to be. Okay, here auxiliary to be will work on uh, auxiliary to be. Okay, you have to know this. Actually, it's very important. All right. Uh, also, to be conjugated in the tense of the active form. Uh, active tense, okay. You have to conjugate to be. Uh, you have to conjugate to be in the tense of the active tense. Okay. Here is, this is, uh, this rule is for ordinary verbs. This rule is for ordinary verbs. Uh, this rule is for ordinary verbs. Okay. If you don't ask me about what ordinary verb is. Okay, we know that in English we have two kind of ordinary verbs, ordinary, irregular ordinary verbs and irregular ordinary verbs. In English we have two kind of verbs, ordinary, or regular ordinary verbs and irregular ordinary verbs. Okay, so here is the rule. Uh, we have subject, yeah, subject here, the subject, I put the subject here in this, in blue, okay, in blue, and uh, to be in red. I put to be in red, and after this, to be yeah, uh, to be in red. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, we'll put it to be in red, and after this, to be here in the tense of the active tense. So to be how to be in the tense of the active tense plus what plus the past participle plus the past participle. And this is also very important. Plus or past participle plus what plus this by plus by okay we we'll use by plus by uh, let me change the color plus by plus by plus the object uh, plus the object okay plus the object okay plus the object uh, here let me change the color plus the object Okay, plus the object. So, uh, here is the rules. We are subject plus to be in the tense of the active tense, uh, plus or past participle of the main verb, or the verb, uh, plus by, plus object, or object here. Okay, let, let's see some example. A here is active. A is active. Active. This is here, you see, A here means active. Uh, an example. The teacher punished coffee the teacher punished coffee this is active tense eh? uh, this is an active sentence the teacher punished coffee yeah the teacher punished coffee here the verb is uh, i'll uh, take a simple color the teacher punished coffee and uh, this is an active sentence okay here in the 
passive. In the passive, you got P means of passive. P means passive. P, coffee was, coffee was, okay, coffee was, coffee was punished. Coffee was punished. Coffee was punished by, uh -huh. coffee was punished by, okay, coffee was punished by the teacher. The teacher, you see, coffee was punished by the teacher. Okay. You see, coffee here, coffee is a subject, huh? Uh, coffee is a subject, okay, our P is uh, coffee, and I put it in blue, you will see, very, very stressy. Okay, you see, coffee, here, subject coffee, it's here, passive voice coffee, the subject, we are our to be in the test of active tense, here, we see here, uh, was, active tense, okay, plus, past participle, past participle, here, was, uh, uh, punished, punished is our past participle, uh, let me put it in yellow or like this. Oh, I don't know how to use this. Like this. Alright, no problem. It is in yellow. Yellow? Yeah, okay. Yellow, past participle here, by here, the object, with uh, the teacher. Okay. If you take our sentence, the teacher punished coffee. The teacher punished coffee. Yeah, this is an active sentence. And the, this is active, okay, active, active. This is active, active, uh, like this, okay. But here, we have, uh, we'll see article here, it will be passive, active, passive, okay, active, passive, active. Uh, the teacher punished coffee. This active, no problem. Yeah, I think that you you understand it. Okay. In the second part, coffee, coffee was coffee. The subject coffee was be was active. Uh, past participle punished by the teacher. It's an uh, object by the teacher. Uh, the teacher, the teacher is the object by. Okay. The teacher punished coffee. Uh, coffee was punished by the teacher. It's simple. It's clear. Okay, we go ahead with another uh, sentence. Another sentence. He, he has cleaned. He has cleaned. Yeah, he has cleaned. He has cleaned. He has cleaned. He has cleaned the board. He has cleaned the board. You see, he has cleaned the board. Yeah, our company here has cleaned the board. Okay, the board. The board has been, the board has been, the board has been cleaned. The board has been cleaned. Here we are aware to be, to be here, okay. The board has been cleaned. 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 See? Okay. He has cleaned the board. The board has been cleaned. Uh, the simple. Okay, we go ahead. Passive voice okay with models. Or what we have just said is for all the models. Now passive voice of models. Okay. Passive voice models. We are this is your subject. Subject here. Subject uh with the subject in blue. Subject plus model. Model it will be in uh uh, I'll change the color for you in yellow, okay. Plus B in red, plus B, I put B in red. Here, B will be in red, and uh, uh, sorry, B will be in red. And uh, past participle, past participle will be in uh, this color, all right. Okay, so uh, this is the rule. Huh? You have to master it. If you have to write them down, write it down and you will memorize it. It will be helpful for you. A passive of model. So you have subject plus model plus B plus past participle. Example, a, a active voice. Active, active voice. You must do the job. 
U is the subject in blue. U mass. Okay. U mass. Here mass mass is the molar. Mass is the molar here. I put it in, in a yellow uh, like this. Uh, yellow. Okay. Do the job. You must do the job. It's active. Uh, you must do the job. Okay. Here is our complement. No problem. Here is our complement. Okay. We'll take another color for it. Ah, okay. You must do the job. Okay. The job. The job. Here you see. The job. The job. This color. Mass. You see here we changed. Okay. Here the complement becomes the subject. Okay. Very simple. The subject. Uh, the object. Sorry. The object. Here we have the subject here. The, the object here becomes the subject. Mass. Mass. This is what you call the model. Okay. Mass. This is the model. All right. And we have our B. B is here in red. I put it in red. Uh, see. Sorry. I want to do it quickly for you. Okay. And uh, yeah, what our past participle. Past participle here. Or past participle. Past participle it is here. You can see it. You see, yeah, our subject. This rule is for passive voice. This for passive voice. Okay. Let me uh, do this. Okay. Like this, it is here. All right. You see. All right. That's good. Now your yeah, subject, our subject, yeah, the subject is here. The job model must be be here. Pass the same of that. You see. All right. This is very simple. Okay. You must do the job. The job must be done. But you have no need for us to precise who has done the job. Okay. We'll see that form. Okay. We go ahead quickly. Uh, watch out. Yeah. Watch out. Uh, have to pay attention about it. Many active sentences in French are translated in the passive words in English. Many active sentences in, uh, in French is uh, translated in the passive words in English. Okay? Active sentence. Active sentence in, uh, in blue. And uh, passive words. I see voice in yellow. I put it in yellow. That's fine. That will be helpful to understand better. Okay. Many active sentences in French are translated in the passive voice in English. Okay. Here, in French, here is a first sentence. Il reste peu de, peu de gens. Il reste peu de gens. This is active. Hein? Il reste. Hein? Il reste peu de gens. Il reste peu de gens. This is active. Il reste peu de gens. Okay? Active. Il reste peu de gens. And here, you see, few people were left. Few people were left. Few people were left. Okay? You will see here, the verb rester. The verb rester. Okay? Rester. And here it is translated where left. Where left. Huh? Where left. Where left. And we have our verb to be. To be is here also. So you have to pay attention to it. See? Okay, very simple. Il ne, il ne me reste que mille francs. C'est fa. Il ne me reste que mille francs. C'est fa. Okay? I have only 1,000 CFA francs. I have only 1,000 CFA francs. Okay. Here, you have to add something here. Okay. Il ne me reste que 1,000 francs. C'est I have only, 
I have only 1000 CFA from. You see? Okay. Shakespeare naki en 1564. Shakespeare naki en 1564. Shakespeare was born in 1564. Ouais, ok. Aussi intéressant. C'est plus facile à dire qu'à faire. C'est plus facile à dire qu'à faire. It is easier said than done. It is easier said than done. Hein? C'est plus facile à dire qu'à faire. It is easier said than done. Ok? It is easier said than done. Ok? 5. Que faut-il faire? Que faut-il faire? What is to be done? What is to be done? Ici aussi, hein? Yeah, ça c'est cette phrase est à la forme c'est uh, active uh -huh, oui cette phrase est à la forme active que faut-il faire hein? ici on a what is to be done what is to be done hein? what is to be done hein? ok what is to be done on met ça en jaune what is to be done ok ici aussi il doit mettre ça en jaune ok What is to be done? Yeah, what is to be... What is to be done? Sorry. You see, it is, it is the same. Very, very easy. All right. So, uh, take it again. Uh, many active sentences in French are translated in the passive voice in English. Okay? Il reste peu d'argent. Few, il lui restait plus de gens. Few people were left. Ok. Il, me, il ne me restait que 1000 francs suffa. I have only 1000 CFA. Shakespeare naquit en 1564. Shakespeare was born in 1564. C'est plus facile à dire qu'à faire. It is said than done. Que faut-il faire? What is to be done? What is to be done? Ici, on a un to be ici. Hein? Voilà. Ok, we go ahead. Watch out. Watch out. Second, watch out. The adjective is different from the past participle. The adjective is different from the past participle. Right? Compare. One. Les portes ne sont pas encore ouvertes. Les portes ne sont pas encore ouvertes. Here's an adjective. The gates are not open yet. The gates are not yet open. Are not open yet. Les portes ne sont pas encore ouvertes. The gates are not open yet. Deuxièmement, the que okay. ici on a un autre adjectivien. Hein? Open. Open. Mais ça en bleu. Ok. C'est adjectif. 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 Ok. Now. The second sentence, les portes sont ouvertes, les portes sont ouvertes, hein? chaque matin à 8h, sont ouvertes, hein? ouvertes, here, qui ici c'est, pas possible, adjectives, here, participe passé, passe participant, ok, passe participant, les portes sont ouvertes, les portes sont ouvertes chaque matin à 8h. Les portes sont ouvertes chaque matin à 8h. Les portes sont ouvertes chaque matin à 8h. The gates are opened. Are opened. Ici. Yes, are opened. And we are our to be here. To be here. Ok. The gates are opened at 8 every morning. Hein? Ok, il reprend. Le reste est régulé. Le adjectif, le adjectif est différent from the past participle. Compare. Les portes ne sont pas encore ouvertes. The gates are not open yet. Ok. Les portes sont ouvertes chaque matin à 8h. The gates are opened at 8 every morning. All right. Ok, use this. In free, we'll see, use is, okay, how to use the passive voice. We use the active form to say 
what the subject does. We use the active form. Active form. Okay. To do what? We use the active form to say what the subject what the subject does. What the subject does. Okay. We we'll put it in a yellow. Okay. We use the active form to say what the subject does. Okay. He he drove. Okay. He drove the car yesterday. He drove the car yesterday. Eh? He drove. He is the subject. Eh? Okay. He drove. Yeah. Drove. Active form. Eh? Okay. This here it will be in blue. Okay. He drove the car yesterday. He. Yeah. He is a, the uh, subject. Okay. He drove the car yesterday. I clean. I is the subject. I okay clean. I clean. It will be in blue. I clean. Uh, sorry. I clean. Uh, what? I clean my house once a week. I clean my house once a week. Okay. Okay. We see that we use the active form to say what the subject does. Here, the subject is he. He drove. He drove. He drove the car yesterday. Okay. We know about what the subject has done. Okay. Here, I. The subject is I. I clean my house once a week. Okay. That's all. Okay. That's good. Also. So we use the passive voice. We use the passive voice. Okay. Passive. We use the passive form. Okay. Here, we use the passive form to do what? We use the passive form. Okay. We use the passive form to. To, to do something that maybe you will know these things okay we use the passive form to say what happened to the subject what happened what uh, to say what happened to the subject okay what happened to the subject okay this color is fine uh, so we use the passive voice we use the passive form to say what happened what happened to the subject okay the car the car was driven. Was driven. Here it's a passive. Uh, was driven. Okay. The car was driven. Uh, the car was driven. The car was driven by somebody else yesterday. Uh, okay. The car was driven. Uh, the subject. Uh, what happened to the subject? Okay. The car was driven. Uh, by someone the car here here the subject uh, uh, our subject here uh, then we put it in the car okay uh, the car was driven the car was driven by uh, okay by uh, somebody else yesterday okay okay the house was uh, the house is the subject here uh, the house the house was cleaned. The house was cleaned. The house was cleaned. The house, the house was the house was cleaned only yesterday. Okay, the house was cleaned only yesterday. Okay, the house was cleaned only yesterday. You see, sometimes, sometimes when we use the passive voice, we do not know who. We do not know who. We do not know who. Okay. We do not know who did the action. Sometimes uh, when we use the passive voice, when we use the passive, uh, when we use the passive, okay. When we use the passive, we do not know who who did the action. So my watch was made in Switzerland. Switzerland. My watch was made in Switzerland. Okay, it was made. Uh, my my watch was made okay my watch was made in Switzerland my watch was made in Switzerland who made my watch in Switzerland we don't know but it is it, it is made okay my watch is made in Switzerland my watch was made in Switzerland here is my watch here is my watch this watch is a watch uh, it is made in Switzerland Swiss in French Swiss okay my watch was made in Switzerland okay my car my car has been damaged my car has been damaged my car has been 
damaged. Okay, but you have, you have to know that this is uh, all these are what you call the the element to be here also to be okay to be here. I have done some this for you expressly. Okay, was here too. Okay, you have to know that these are to be all right. My car has been damaged. Okay, sometimes sometimes you know who sometimes we know who did uh, something but it is not as important as what uh, uh, was done okay sometimes we know who sometimes we know who okay sometimes we know who did something but it is not as important as what was done okay sometimes we know who did something but it is not as important as what was done okay uh, it was sent. It was sent. See, it was sent. It was sent by Osman yesterday. It was sent by Osman yesterday. It was sent by Osman yesterday by Osman. It was sent by Osman yesterday. We know that I have explained this. Okay, it was sent by Osman yesterday. It was sent by Osman yesterday. Okay, it was. I was told. I was told. I was told, I was told by, I was told by, okay, uh, I was told by Sarah, I was told by Sarah, okay, sometimes you know who did something but it is not as important as what was done, okay, it was sent by Osman, it was sent by Osman yesterday, I was told by Sarah, okay, we go ahead quickly, often, we use the passive, often we use the passive to bring the topic uh, we are interested in the front of the sentence. Often we use the passive, we use the, can use the passive, we use the passive to bring, okay, when we use the passive, often we use the passive to bring the topic, the topic we are interested in to the front of the sentence, okay. The vegetables are all grown. Are all grown? Are all are all grown? Okay, are all grown? Okay, for so why are all grown by local farmers? By local farmers? Okay, the vegetables are all grown by local farmers. Okay, the local farmers. This door, this door should be this door should be replaced. This door should be replaced. This door should be replaced. Okay. When you are when you have time. This door should be replaced when you have time. Okay. Notice that uh, the correct form is I was born. Not uh, I am born. You see, simply I was born. This is the correct form to use uh, this. Okay. I was born. Okay, not uh, I am born. Right? I am born is incorrect. We say I was born. I was born in. I was born in. Okay. Let's change the color. I was born in 1987. You were. You were born. You were born in the same year as me. You were born. In, you were born in the same year as me. Okay. Notice that uh, the passive of doing is being done. Being done, passive of doing, passive of doing, okay, right, let us change the color. Passive of doing, passive of doing is, uh, passive of doing is uh, being done. Passive of doing is uh, being done, okay. Put it in red. Passive or doing is doing done. I don't like. I don't like you staring at me. Okay. Uh, I don't like you staring at me. Okay. Like. See. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. Okay. I don't like. Okay. I don't like. Don't. Okay. Uh, simple. I don't like uh, staring at me. You don't like being stirred. Uh, you don't like being stirred. 
Uh, okay, I don't like stirring uh, here. Uh, stir at me. Being stirred. Yeah, we are being here. Okay, being stirred. Yeah, being stirred here. Yeah, uh, stirring at. Uh, uh, don't stir at me. Stirring at. Yeah, stirring here to be in uh, uh, blue. Uh, let us put it in blue. Should be helpful for all of us. Okay, stirring at me. I don't like being stirred at. Okay, I hate hope. I hate I hate people not uh, talking to me. Okay, talking to, uh, talking to. Okay, talking, uh, talking in blue. Okay, here being talked, being talked. I think we should be in red. Being talked. All right. I hate being talked to in uh, talk to in clubs. I hate. I hate people not talking uh, to me in clubs. I hate being talked to in the clubs. You see? Very nice, isn't it? Notice that the passive of doing is being done. I don't like, I don't like you stare at me. Okay? You, I don't like being stare at. Okay? I hate people not talking to me in clubs. I hate being talked to in clubs. You see? Now we are going to finish. Uh, when things when things happen when things happen when things happen in or change and especially in informal English you can uh, get you can use get you can use get instead of you can use get instead of b uh, instead of b uh, and use get instead of b I put it this year in blue okay in, in the passive in the passive of course in the passive in the passive passive but i put passive also in uh, in uh, red all right there was uh, there was there was an accident but nobody was hurt okay there was an accident but uh, nobody was hurt there was okay there was an accident but nobody got hurt you see let's say in uh, informal english informal english uh, uh instead of was uh was is here See, yeah, was here, was uh, in blue. I put it in blue, and here we have got. It should be in a red, isn't it? We we'll put it in a red. Yeah. So uh, I was, I was, I was, I was offered the job, but I didn't take it. Uh, but I didn't uh, take it. You see, okay. I was offered the job, but I didn't take it. I got. See, I got. I got. I was. I was offered an iron, but didn't. I didn't take it. I got. Okay. I got here is be in red also. I got offered. I got offered. I got offered. I got offered. I got offered the job, but I didn't take it. You see, I was offered. I was offered. You see, we are was was offered in blue. Okay, I was offered the job, but I didn't take it. I got offered the job, but I didn't take it. All right, you see. Uh, this lesson is very important, but you know our course is becoming very long, so we will stop here. And if you have some uh, questions or you have uh, something else or you want to ask me some questions or you want to uh, be in touch with me, uh, don't hesitate to write me down here. Here is my email. Okay, Dragon Kilo uh, dot uh, gmail dot com. Okay, okay here at Dramankindo at gmail.com and uh, here is my phone number you can uh, write me down here if you have some suggestion or you want to uh, be in contact with me no problem. or you want to call me or send me a message or me or you want to ask your questions so don't hesitate okay uh, it will be a pleasure to receive your questions and uh, I, it will be also a pleasure for me to answer you inshallah Okay, thank you very much for listening. Our course also, uh, we were talking about uh, the passive voice. So you know that passive voice, you have to uh, know that in passive voice, you have to keep in mind you need uh, 
also called you need uh, the past participle and the auxiliary to be here the past participle auxiliary to be okay and the general uh, role is a uh, subject plus to be and the passive voice of course uh, sub subject plus uh, plus to be in the tense of active sentence plus participle plus uh, by and all okay and this uh, for the models uh, you have to use subject plus uh, model plus be plus participle okay that's all and uh, yes there are some things you have to pay attention to them and we have given you how to use uh, the passive voice i mean let's see that's all you have to watch the video many times uh, and you understand it better if you have some questions don't hesitate to contact me thank thank you thank you thank you goodbye for now